Hey everybody, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Sean here. If you haven't checked us out, go to mrmaple.com where we sell over a thousand different cultivars of Japanese maples, but we don't end there. We've got hydrangeas, we've got conifers, we've got azaleas, so be sure to check us out. Today, we are gonna go over common landscaping mistakes. So come with Corbin and I, we're gonna show you some of those. So one common mistake I saw a lot of when I was doing landscape design is not having a firm plan. Take the time to plan your landscape design. When you don't plan your landscaping design, that can lead to overcrowding and a lack of balance in your landscape. And also not planning can also affect the long-term care and health of the trees and plants you have in that landscape. So again, take that initial time at the beginning to get your plan together. The next thing that I commonly would see in mistakes with landscaping is the wrong trees and plants for the environment. Not knowing the mature size of plants and their growth habits can really get you in a pickle later on down the road. And knowing the exposure of sun. Am I gonna get too much sun? Not enough sun. Where's my shade? Where's my sun gonna hit? And also insufficient or overwatering. Watering is huge. Am I gonna have enough water? Am I not gonna have enough water and soil conditions? Is my soil gonna drain properly or is it gonna hold water? So again, know your environment so you can put the right plants in that spot. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about is invasive plants. There are a lot of great, beautiful plants out there with beautiful blooms, but they're invasive. They can grow and take over your landscape. One problem with that is they can pull nutrients from the soil that can affect other plants and overcrowd your beds. So avoid those invasive plants. Something you can do is if you have one is use it in a container because you could always put that container into your garden bed and still have those beautiful colors, those beautiful blooms and you don't run the risk of overcrowding those beds. So the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is planting too close to the house. Now there's a couple different reasons why planting too close to the house can be problematic. One is trees planted to, the, to a house can cause damage, one to the house or the tree. So you've got two options to either remove those plants or you're gonna to have to come in and cut those and prune those, and then you get a tree that just looks unsightly, that it looks out of balance, and it just doesn't look good. And then also, it can cause damage to your house. That might mean maintenance to your, your, your garden and your landscape, and plus maintenance to your house. These are just a couple simple things to keep in mind when you plant around a structure. Again, you wanna be aware of if, if there's any overhangs up top that the trees can grow into. Just keep in mind that your house is an important part of the landscape, but be careful how close you grow, plant to those houses. So not only do you wanna be careful planting too close to the house, but incorporate the house into your landscape. Your house is important. You want to be able to have your plants and your trees contrast with the house. And something that's important that a lot of people forget about is that your house is part of the landscape. So you want to be able, when if you look out the window or stand at your porch and look out at the garden, you get that landscape view, but also you want to stand out Go out by the street and look at the landscape up against the house. Incorporate your design with the house included with it. And final, one of the biggest mistakes I see in landscape design is being too linear. A couple ways to do that is implement curves 
into your landscape. And doing that, you can put entrances and pathways that allow eye movement. And eye movement is to flow through the garden. A lot of gardens are just straight. And there's nothing wrong with straight lines in a garden, but add some, add some curves into that garden really, really goes a long way. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. These are just a few of the common mistakes I commonly see in landscape design. So if you, again, if you could just keep it simple, have a plan, don't use invasive plants, know your environment, make sure your soil is the right soil, and also use your house as part of your landscape and avoid planting too close, you can have a successful landscape. Y'all, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Check out mrmaple.com. Y'all take care, God bless, and have a wonderful day. That old man river, he must know something. He don't say nothing. Are we recording? Okay. I didn't know you were recording. I thought you still...